everybody. I'm just uh, quite a bit away from where I was and getting close to where we're going. So I thought I'd just uh, show you some of the forest area around here. You probably can't see it yet, but this is a bridge over something called Deception Pass. And to my left, there's all forest area. And there is forest area in front of me as well. And what I will do, for those of you who are interested, I'll gladly put your link up on a map so you can see where this area is. Um, just let me know if you'd like to know where I am. But basically, this area is just incredibly pretty. It's full of little islands on the west coast. Um, and I haven't been here for a while, so I could get hopelessly lost, and that's okay. I'm not in any hurry. So when we get where I'm going, I'll give you a bit more of a view. everybody so I'm here at the Fildalgo Bay Resort and it's an RV resort and I'm going to take you on a trip around with the permission of the uh, people here and the first thing we see is there's a totem pole wonder how many of you um, probably all seen them but I got one right in front of me and this is sort of like a mud bay here, but I'm about to go over on the other side here to have a look. So uh, I'll take you with me. So there's a clubhouse here, and there is the view of the Gulf Islands. Now I'll get a bit closer and then show you. I'm just trying to work out where would be a nice place to Hi there. So I would imagine on a nice day this would be really pretty. As long as you don't look that way. But this is really pretty. And it hasn't got a sand beach, but they told me at the end of the spit, um, if you keep walking that way, it ends up uh, where the beach. I'm not going to do that today. So I'm just going to have a look at some of these little places and see what they're like and then I'll bring you back. Well I just had a really nice talk with the people here because there's nothing like having the campers themselves tell you what they like and don't like about a campground and these people have been here before and funny enough guess where they're from? Canada. <laughs> so what I wanted to know from them is you know what did they like? And just as I leave the clubhouse here uh, what I hear that they liked was just about everything. Uh, I just used the washrooms because I think that's always a good indication of what a 
campground is like and the washrooms were spotless. Now I know it's not in the middle of high season, but there's still quite a few people here, which is always a good sign as well. Um, and they also told me, oh look at that, there's a really nice barbecue area right there. That's fun. Um, so they're saying that these are really nice sites to be on here, which it would be, wouldn't it? But these are what they call drive-in sites. That's the site to be in. There's a back-in site, but the unfortunate thing is it's right opposite the play area. So we don't necessarily want that one. Okay, so what the guy said that I've just been speaking to is to go to the other section. So this is the obviously one section of it, and there is a second section which we're going to go to now. Um, and he recommended... So this, this bay here, you know, fills full of water once a day. And the rest of the time it's mud. But here they have all sorts of cabins, so, you know, you can have a choice. Do you want to bring the trailer down or do you want to just come and bring the cabin? I mean, stay in a cabin, just for a you know, walk. All right, so now here, this is rather clever. Here, they've got sites. <laughs> Now this is clever. They've got sites with its own little covered house next to it. We like that. Or you can have a cabin facing the bay. Not a great view. I wonder if... Quite sure here where the view is. Apparently there is one. I appear to be missing it in some way. They tell me there's a view. This would be a nice place depending on who's right here. Hmm. Or now that would be nice. That would be nice. Seriously. How would you like to see that view? What do you think? Okay, let's see if I can get you a close-up of that. You know... And I would think fairly quiet as well, because this is like the back end Yeah, okay, this is what I want, 133 or 132 if I'm bringing the trailer, or even here. I'll have a look at that. Good. All right, thanks for coming with me on this trip. I rather like these, I don't know why. And they're not really that much more expensive. But it's nice to get a bit of shade, and especially as my awning is broken. I think I will go for one of these. Okay, we're done. Part of the reason that this would be interesting historically is it's actually Indian land. And then I'm right here next to the totem pole. Isn't that cute? Well, I want to tell you everybody, I'm quite impressed with that. Uh, just really nice people. Very people-oriented people. Very clean. I, I really like the cleanliness of the site. Um, as you know, I, I went to what I thought would be the busiest. There are quite a few people there already. And uh, I thought, I went to where I thought would be the busiest washroom and that was really spotless. 
I'm, I'm sure when it's full capacity, it's not going to be spotless. But if it starts that clean and looks that clean and the busiest one, then that's good. Um, so I'm quite happy about that. And so what I'm going to do now is I put down a deposit for three nights. I actually was only going to come down for two. And so uh, I'm really... Apparently, they tell me there's all sorts of stuff here, and I brought some brochures home with me so that I can have a look. Um, and there is... Oh, wouldn't you love to have a house here? I'm just looking at some of these houses here. Overlooking the yacht club and everything. There's a yacht club here. Some magnificent houses just right on here. I absolutely have no idea how I get out of here, so I'm just sort of following the road and hoping I don't end up in Japan or something. Um, we do not want to go to the central business district, so we'll just keep going straight. Oh yeah, and what do I see right in front of me? A U-turn. I mean, a, a T-junction. Which means going straight is not... the way to go. I hope it's not a dead end. It is. Maybe we will go and visit the business district then. <laughs> Maybe it's our only way out of here. <laughs> we'll try that, shall we? And uh, we're at the York Club again. <laughs> Listen, we can do this. Just don't take that road again. Well, we definitely are going east and we don't want to be heading east. So I am, if I turn, I mean, we're heading west. So if we're heading west and I turn right, we'll be heading north. I want to go south. Oh, look at that. I think it might be a useful place right in front of me. When I say a useful place, I mean... Seriously, sir, could you let me out of here? Please, 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 please. I'm right in the middle of a road. Thank you. Yep. Obviously, American drivers are not like Canadian drivers. <laughs> or rather... <laughs> no idea where I am, peeps. I think I'll hang a left now, see what happens. Oh, I think this is exactly where I want to be. Because we're now heading east. Yes! Well, that was very good. Just went with my gut. Now, for all you perfect people that would have worked out that route map way before you ever came here, <laughs> I, I could hear you. Now the trick is, this is why I come. This is why I like to come beforehand. So when I'm, if I'm pulling a trailer, when I'm pulling a trailer, uh, at least I know. So what they were telling me is there's a lot of stuff here just locally. Uh, in other words, you know, we can do a drive and go from sea level to 3,000 feet on one day trip, for example, if we wanted to. Um, and then we can obviously go to the forest area that, it, that is here. And then on um, the final day, we're going to drive, now hang on, we're going to get here on the one day, then we've got two days to do side trips, and then the final day we will go down the islands, which they tell me is a magnificent trip, 
Uh, so I'm glad I decided on that and then get on the ferry and go across and then do the final part. So I will, yep, this doesn't make any sense to you unless I send you the map. So I will do that. At the moment I'm in a place for those of you who want to have a look. Uh, I am at a place called Oak Harbor. And in fact, I was at the Fuldago, Fuldago, I don't know how you pronounce it, uh, Bay Resort. Now, what I don't know and I didn't ask, I asked a lot of questions, but I didn't ask, you know, what are the flies like or are we going to get eaten alive? I think I might be going in the wrong direction. No, that's to Oak Harbor going that way. I want to go back. Okay, so that's where I would go if I'm going... That's the way I would go when I leave here. But I'm going back to the highway and heading back down to Benji and Judy land. gave me a coffee as well. It was very nice. All right, this was well worth the trip, peeps. I'm very happy about this. So, uh, now, I used a bit of gas to do it, but I want to tell you there is no way you would have got the feel for what the place was by just looking at it on a, a, a you know, a flat map. And that's what I wanted to see, because sometimes things can look really cute, you know, on a two-dimensional map. When you actually get there, it doesn't look so cute. Uh, I didn't know that these weren't sand beaches, and that's okay. I'm not going to be going swimming. <laughs> but um, I sort of liked the area. Um, I, I think it's an interesting area. So we can do that. And it's now partially paid for because I put a deposit down. So, goodbye everybody for now. I'm going to enjoy my trip home. Well, not home. Back down to my second home. <laughs> Bye for now. Good. Okay, so I'm here with Nini. You all know Nini. This is Benji's mum. Oh, ben Judy's mum. <laughs> Mother-in-law. And I'm sorry, I never know your name. Nestor. Nestor. Nestor and... Canadian also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More Canadians. And Imagine. Thank you. And now what we're having is Nini's very well-known <laughs> tuna salad. <laughs> and I had some the other day and it has no garlic in it. But now, I not only have tuna salad, but I also have the kupi, kupi? Kupi. Kupi. All right. Japanese Ma mayo. Japanese mayo, which apparently um, I can't live without. So um, this is all a day about experiences. And if it was half as good as it was yesterday, it's going to be great. <laughs> Goodbye. It's the 